Hey everyone, so today I want to show you how to get this lower third scripture look. So you can put these up during your stream or just for reference for iMag or wherever you need to put this up. I know that Elevation Church uh, uses this look and this style. That's where I first noticed it. And then I wanted to try and recreate that. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. I do think that you have to have ProPresenter 7 to make this work. I don't think any of the previous versions of ProPresenter will uh, have the options to make this work. All right. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is create a theme. So you come down here, I, I already have a theme that's been created for this, but we're just going to start new so you guys can see how to do it from uh, the very beginning. So go in here, hit new theme. We're just going to call this uh, Bible lower third. Hit save. You already have a text layer. So let's just go ahead and rename this to scripture. Okay, now what we want to do is add a shape. We'll just add a rectangle shape. It's fine because we can scale it and change it and move it around. All right, so let's bring it down here to our lower third and we're going to stretch it out. And it's nice that ProPresenter has these guides and they'll just snap to it. So there's that. Great. Okay, now over here it's really important uh, where you have these layers, uh, your scripture needs to go at the top above the rectangle. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see it. Now, we're going to scale this down to be about the size of it. You don't really want the edge of your text frame to be all the way to the edge of your box. You kind of want to bring it in a little bit, especially over here. Uh, it's really just kind of an aesthetic, a look kind of thing. So you just bring it in a little bit, just like that. Perfect. Okay, so after you have your text kind of where you want, uh, it's actually important where you want the alignment of it. You can do it in the center, but it's probably better to align it to the left where your scripture starts over here. All right, and then I would put it center as well not up or down i would just leave it center because it will automatically adjust based off of how much how many lines and how many words are in here okay so great now the next step is we need to put in here if you go over to bible you will see there's three different options to choose from your version the verse that you're using and then the reference so this is all important. And then you actually have your options. So over in your slide options, you need to have at least the verse numbers. Uh, it's important to break on a new verse because of how small this area is. And then uh, your verse references. Now it's important to have the verse reference selected because that's where the, um, the top that we're about to create uh, is going to be shown. You don't have to put it on there, but then it just helps people know where you're reading if they jump in late or they missed it. So we'll come back over here to our theme editor, Bible Lower Third and Edit. So what we need to do now is add the book reference. So we have our scripture, we have our background for the scripture. Now we need to add the text or the reference. So hit text and then there it is. So we'll just scale it down, move it up, align it left, push it over. Now you don't have to do it exactly this way. I'm just showing you the basic way of setting it up. You can get creative. You could put this over here if you wanted it, or you can put it down here, anywhere you want. but. This is, I believe, typically where it goes. Okay, so now you have your text uh, for your scripture reference. Now you can leave it like that, um, but it's probably best to put a background behind it so it doesn't get lost when it's on the screen. So we'll come in here, we'll add another shape. 
add a rectangle. So let's just change this color up. Let's just choose yellow so it's completely obvious. All right, now we're gonna drag it over and bring it down. So again, make sure that your rectangle layer is underneath the text. And we're gonna scale it down and then bring it out. Actually, I don't like the yellow. You're not gonna be able to see it. So let's take it down to, let's just do a dark green. There, that works. Perfect. All right, and same thing with the text as well as far as the scale. You don't want it on the exact edge. About right there is good. And you can scale this text down to whatever size you want it to be. It can be a little bit smaller than your main text. Okay, great, so everything is set up. So now we're gonna go back to our show, come over to Bible, and then in your options, come over here and your theme, you're gonna select what you just created, Bible lower third. Click it, and then it's gonna change, and there it is. Now, you have your scripture, you have your version. The important, the two important options that you need to select are this right here where it says verse. This is showing you what you created. What shape does the text need to fill? So that's why you labeled it scripture and you labeled it text. So make sure your scripture is selected and then reference is selected in text. So we're gonna, we're gonna put it within that right there. Perfect, so now it fits. Now, when you click it, boom, shows up. And there it is. So we can come back over here. What I did is just took a screenshot from one of our services. I made it a background just so you could see for reference and we put it up so it took over so come back over to Bible click it and then there it is and when you progress forward you can see the scripture changes and the reference changes as well and that's really it now you can get really creative with that if you didn't want just the basic colors what you can do is go into a photo editor like Photoshop and you can create a um, colors and a background that might fit your uh, theme, the sermon theme for that week. I'll show you what we have. So we just changed it over, click it there. So it adds a little texture. There's like a little logo. And uh, the way you do that is you have to just go into Photoshop and I can show you how. So we'll pop over here to Photoshop and you want to make your size, the size that you're outputting. So if you're using uh, 1920 by 1080, make it a 1920 by 1080 size. If it's 1280 by 720, make it that size. Go over and bring in a screenshot of your service just for reference. So here's our screen grab. I'm gonna select it all, copy it, and just paste it into our document. Yep. Okay, there we go. So now what you wanna do is create, and if you don't know Photoshop, no problem. That's why ProPresenter has the editor in there that you can create. But if you do have Photoshop and you wanna get a little more creative with your lower thirds, uh, what you'll want to do is just come over here and I think that would be good and create a new layer and then we'll just make this our foreground all right good now say you wanted to add a texture or an image or something like that what you can do is come over and find something unless you already have it. We'll just go to Unsplash. It's a great free website resource. And we'll just say texture. And you want something that's kind of dark uh, because you have white text. You don't want it to get lost. So we'll just find something darker. 
we'll just go with this and we can adjust that later. I'm just going to drag it directly into it. All right, perfect. We'll go ahead and just stretch this out to fit the size of our canvas. Awesome. Now what you're going to want to do, if you're on a Mac, like I am, you're going to go to this layer that you created with the, um, the lower third, hold down command and click it. Okay. And then you're going to come down to your texture layer that you want. And then what I would do is just hit the mask, add layer mask button. And then it will create a mask to that shape that you just made. Now you can hide the layer and then you have it. Perfect. So now you have your lower third and it's the texture. Uh, if you wanted to move it around, say it wasn't quite where you want it to be, just unclick the link and then select your background and then you can move it around to fit it how you want. But you have to keep it within that parameter, otherwise you won't see it on the screen. Now you don't have to add the reference text unless you want to, that's up to you. Um, I like to just keep that a solid color instead of creating something different, having two different textures, I would just leave it as a solid. Okay, now after you do this, what you're gonna wanna do is hide the layers underneath to where the only thing that's showing is the lower third. Come up here, hit file, save as, and you need to save it as a PNG right here, not a JPEG. If you save it as a JPEG, it's going to flatten it and put a white background on it. And you don't want that. You want it to be transparent. So save it as PNG, save, uh, large is fine. Now you're going to come back over to pro presenter and we'll click out of here. We'll go to our theme Bible, lower third edit, and we will delete this layer since we don't want that anymore. And we're going to add media and we'll go to where we saved it. Here's our Bible lower third texture that we just made Hit open and then boom, it put it in right there for us. And it was already formatted and set for 1920 by 1080. So there it is. Now you might have to readjust this, which is fine. Come to our rectangle, bring it down a little bit. You'll have to readjust everything actually. Bring it down and make sure that this layer is at the bottom. Perfect. Now you just want to um, make sure that it's not too bright and you can adjust it. See this text already looks like it's getting washed out. So what you'll want to do is click on that uh, lower third texture layer. You can come over to the shape come to inspector, go over to your effects, adjust the color, and then you can just either bring your brightness down, you can bring the contrast down a little bit, and it makes it darker, and then your text begins to pop out. So there's that. Okay, great. So we'll come back over to show. Come over here to Bible, and then you have to, um, either select options and then choose your theme again for it to update or you can just come over here highlight your scripture hit enter oh no that didn't work oh because i'm on the other one <laughs> there and then there it is you hit it and then there's our new custom lower third background so that's pretty much how you do it i hope that helps gives you a little more creativity in your live streams and your lower thirds thanks for watching